All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeff. We're back here for one final time here on War Zones for Dance. I'm sure some people are going to be making some really heartfelt montages and compilations of their favorite clips from all of the great times that they ended up having over in Verdansk, but to be quite honest, fuck Verdansk. <laughs> so they added the new limited time mode here. Uh, we got last hours of Verdansk. Search to crash bombers and compete to be the final victors. I'm pretty sure this is like a squad game mode. Don't really care. And since this is going to be the last time that I'm actually on Verdansk, I didn't want to go and make a video on just an LTM about it. I wanted to go and spectate Warzone, Verdansk specifically, one final time. We're just going to queue up a solo game here. We're just going to let it go. Let's see how the game's looking at this current state. Right before the anti-cheat comes in, right before everything finally changes after, what, a year and a half? Two years or some shit? I don't even remember when this came out. Verdansk was released on March 10th, 2020 with the release of Warzone. A few hours before leaving Verdansk. So that's actually, it's true and not true, technically. It's a bit more than a few hours because tomorrow, no Warzone will be available, I think. Servers might be down. I, I don't really know exactly how that's gonna go. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I don't play Warzone or anything anything like that, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for that day. I still haven't played Final Fantasy 14 or anything yet. I miss how the slide canceling feels on here with the uh, tax sprint thing or what. I'm really curious how Caldera is going to feel. If it's really going to feel like Vanguard straight up, like how everything feels in Vanguard multiplayer. Is that how it's going to feel in Warzone? Or are they just changing like the rules and look of everything? Is it more visual or is it truly a change. All right, and this old gulag for the last time. A lot of people agree that this is like the best gulag or whatever. I wouldn't say it's my favorite necessarily. I don't really like how dark it is. I think that this map would be the best if it was just lit up a little bit better. I don't like the lighting. I play on 1440p, so I, I usually have a pretty clear picture or whatever, but I think when this initially came out, I was still playing like 1080p and stuff. Maybe? Uh, that's not gonna work. Oh no, this is what we're gonna spectate. He came down here, grabbed the scavenger, and he can't collect the crates. That's that's not how that works. Okay, he's gonna go up onto that building and then fly all the way down. That's exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna die doing this. He doesn't even sprint through the door or anything. Oh, somebody took a shot. So now he's probably gonna be scared to move since he heard a bullet. He's gonna run all the way up to the top, but I highly doubt if he heard that shot, is he truly just gonna jump? He just said, fuck it. Maybe he didn't hear it at all. I don't know. Well, now he got to it. There we go. It's uh, FFAR. Red is a little bit close, so he's going to want to get inside, like, quickly. Okay, yeah. Got three bars. We're at red threat here. Guy's probably outside somewhere and then sneaking in. Probably right behind him. Yeah, somebody ran through one of the doors. Opens the box to let the guy know that he's up there, I guess. And he's going to jump across. He's not going to make it. He's getting shot in the back. Got to run through the door. Oh, shit. Go and grab your box. Oh, wait. He went past it. Okay. Don't sit up there. Pop dead silence and drop down. Did the guy just jump off and fly away from him? No, he came back in. Maybe he fell? I think he tried to jump across too. Oh no, he's gonna do it to him. I really hope that there's no like hard choke points like this over in um, Caldera. I mean, I'm sure that there is. There's no way there isn't. It's very hard to design a map. Why was he so slow with it? It's all right, man. Maybe next time in Caldera. CZ the producer. So he's running around with a car 98. He's gonna go up onto this roof. He was marking it here. There was a player here. Jumps off and then pulls it when he's really close to the ground instead of trying to fly all the way across. I, I think this guy's only level 12, but it seems like he's kind of being a bit more cerebral about this fight. I'm pretty sure he knows that there's a player above him in the building. Right? Yeah, there he is. Taking a shot, hits him, breaks his armor, pulls out Old Faithful. Gonna sit there and challenge him. The guy's trying to replate, breaks his plates again, he's trying to run away and recover. Ends up re-challenging. He didn't have any other play to do right there. Realistically, that was the best play that guy could have taken. He was just gonna keep getting pressed and having his armor broken over and over again. He just has to sit there and slide and challenge and hope for the best. Picks up a Mac 10 class with Ghost. Picks up Old Faithful again. So he actually doesn't even want the Mac. He just wants Ghost. What a weird loadout. It I, I assume this old faithful isn't from a previous loadout, right? Why would he keep it? Oh, somebody took a shot at him. I assume they're sniping from behind him somewhere. Yeah, he takes a look. I don't know if you want to sit there, though. He's trying to keep moving just to see if the guy will take another shot, or maybe he'll see some glint. Yeah, there it is, on the ground. If you see it, and he's already there, and it's, like, flickering, just jump. Do something to throw the headshot way off. This guy's got four kills. 
Wolf C and S. There's nothing better than picking an online alias of a super common thing because now you can just get these cool emblems and calling cards and shit like that that look like they're meant for you. What the fuck is a Jev? I need to trim my beard, but I'm really scared. Maybe I'll ask some professionals to do it. The issue, I'm gonna tell them not to touch my cheek line. Because the last time I had somebody sit there and trim my beard, they sat there and tried to bring my cheeks down like I was trying to get a chin strap. Do you see my cheekbones? Look, look, look. They're defined. Do you see them? I can't bring these down. I have, my cheeks are too cheap. Going for another bounty. Oh, he broke his armor. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. I apologize for looking away from your gameplay. Stuns him, starts chasing him down with the OTS. In the corner, the guy got a plate up. Gator bite, though. It's not enough. Drops him. I'm cashing in on his bounty again. I'm wondering if, like, you know how the flow of every single game is, uh, land in, go to the hospital, whatever it is, like any hot areas. Get a certain amount of money by killing a certain amount of players or doing a contract or something like that. Maybe immediately picking up a bounty, impressing somebody with it, whatever. Get at least 10k, get a loadout, and then just bounty to bounty to bounty if you die you come back you can try a scavenger instead of doing a bounty since you're at a disadvantage later in the game with ground loot i wonder if that whole cycle is going to be broken here with caldera took a while held it right there knew he was coming takes a second shot indigestion when does elden ring come out i don't think i'm going to be doing like a sit down and record kind of session like with face cam and stuff like that but i think when i'm playing it it is on PC, right? I think when I'm playing it, any rages I have, I'm just gonna clip them all up and then you'll randomly get an Elden Ring video from me. Just a random Elden Ring rage taj. That, that's how it is in my mind. Looking around for the guy that he ended up hitting in the building right in front of him. I don't know if that guy is afraid to move. He, wow, he's just teasing him. Oh, he sees him. The guy is sitting there spending the entire time, instead of using his eyeballs to see where somebody could be, he's just heart beating in front of him repeatedly. I guarantee you that's not the first time he's been checking it. He probably had it the entire time with every single have a heartbeat sensor in your hand, full gear on, just coming up and down the stairs. Your dumb ass should trip down that shit. Put the heartbeat sensor away, please. I hope the heartbeat sensor nerf is like significant. Oh, he sees him since he only downed him. Ends up uh, hitting his armor a little bit. He can't even get back up to sit there and see the shots that he needs to get on him. Oh, no, he didn't. He actually stopped there and then replayed it instead. Kind of a smarter move by him. Uh, too high. Seems a little frustrated by it, by the way that he ended up turning away. He has a seven-round mag on this. Is that normal? He does have a UAV. You can pop the UAV right now. See if you're going to be running into anybody or anybody's trying to catch you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that guy does have ghosts. So it's very likely that most of the other people probably have ghosts as well. Well, no, there's two dots popping up there. The guy's got to be coming to his right. Out of either of the alleyways or the dude is running the super long way through like the... He's still running along the road. He fit, Yeah, it's a bad idea to run directly behind him. He has to know that as soon as he gets to this street in front of him, that you guys are going to have to fight each other. And he's going to have the building and you're... Oh, wait, no, the building's gone. Oh, shit. Never mind. I haven't played in a while. God damn. Ends up getting beamed immediately. Throws a stun. It's not going to work because he's already pressing him. Never mind. He actually juked the fuck out of him. I thought he was pressing too. Goes for the self revive, but it's not working out. There's a durable gas mask that he's dropping there, so he can pick that up, be nice and safe, and he'll be able to make it to the zone. The issue is, I don't know if this guy actually had a UAV or anything like that, so I don't know if he's aware that there's actually a couple... Nope, he's getting shot from his right. Armor broken, and he's down. Another person named after a gator. I said this once, and I'll say it again. Crocodiles are literally one of the most pussy builds in all of evolution that we've ever had. You literally hard face camp as an entire build an armored face camping dinosaur that just sits in the area that it knows other species need to go to. Sorry, I watched that one video of a cheetah getting snatched up by an alligator and I got pissed. I'm all for carnivores. I don't really give a fuck. Nature's scary. I get it. I understand. But that shit pissed me off. That's some pussy shit. Come out on land and fight that bitch. Alligators, man. Crocodiles, alligators, whatever. Slim Shady, only two kills. I wonder if we'll get more or less frames on Caldera. Oh man, imagine if it's even worse. Imagine if, like, the frames are just, like, abysmal. I'd imagine that they would have made it better than worse. I know that the map is around a similar size, approximately, but it's on a, like, a different engine, quote, and then I'm only air quoting because I don't know the actual dynamics of it all. Rafael Fazeev ended up winning his fight against Brad Riddell. It's a good fight, and then I think it was the third round. I think it was 1-1, I would say, going into the third round. And then Fazeev ended up throwing a spinning wheel kick. Ended up catching Brad with it, hit him in the side of the head. And he, like, you could see in his eyes in the replay that he couldn't even, like, fixate on the person coming towards him in front of him. He was, like, staring down at the canvas, and he started, like, waving his hands. Like, he just, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. And he ends up just, like, falling down. Ref saves him and everything. It was just, holy shit. 
That was dramatic. I wouldn't say that was like Shane Burgos dramatic, but after he got hit with it, he was like, oh, fuck no. All right, you got me, man. <laughs> fuck that shit. Brad Riddell is awesome. He's a great fighter. I love watching his fights. So the fight was great up until, you know, even the knockout was great, but happy that Fazeev won and Aldo also won. So my two picks there, I was correct. Finally. Airstrike, Airstrike in that area over there. That guy's probably gonna move though. I don't know where to. Oh, never mind. No, he ain't. ends up taking out King Snake. That's a good airstrike. So Caldera's on the ninth, but the actual patch itself does come out on the eighth. Okay, cool. So maybe I'm hoping on that day it's a possibility that uh, over in multiplayer, over on Vanguard, that it's actually the patch will be there. I want to see the patch notes though. Caldera. There's over 40 new weapons. Okay, so that's in Warzone. In multiplayer, we get Paradise, Radar, uh, Control, which is a new mode. New perks and a lethal. Don't know what the new perks are. New zombie stuff. Purge, new covenants, new challenges, new feature in the Tome of Rituals in season. Vonless Office in season. Support kill streaks in season. Weapon updates in season. Weapons, operators, and more. So we're going to be getting Ricochet. Three new operators, Francis Lewis and Isabella. Cooper Carbine, Sawtooth, Katana, a PTRS or Garanko anti-tank rifle and the well gun. Slim Shady trading with him. Someone's riding the Bertha up to him. Hops out. Challenges immediately with the clean slide cancel. Leaves the game. Doesn't even let him finish him off. I pulled up and he just he's ready. He's sitting here laying behind the tree. Oh, ends up hopping out. Gets challenged and just gets destroyed. Sigria driving around. I assume that he probably has a gas mask. So he's probably completely healthy. Yeah, he's got a durable. He's got 20 kills popping off. I wish I was spectating him the entire game so I didn't have to sit here and think of anything else to talk about. That's just how Warzone goes, though. And that's just kind of how Verdansk is. Pulling up on the guy. Ends up he wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. The guy's driving up in his car. Saw the explosion there. He's got to sit there and play it up. Sitting right behind the tree. This is smart. He's going to reach out right here. He didn't see him for some reason. Nice try, though. Now, there's only two players left. How many kills does this other guy have? 10 kills. Okay, man, I was spectating literally the worst of the worst. Hopping around. I don't know if he wants to get into his car or if he's worried about something. He jumps on top of his car. Very bold. This guy has like a rocket launcher or a sniper rifle or some shit. I mean, he just wants to see where he is. He's sniping at him. He's aiming at him right in front of him. He's going to actually get in his car. Oh, my God. Real risky. He's right there by the rocks, man. In the rocks. See him? Oh, my God. The EM2. This is going to do damage. Ends up breaking his... Yep, and Sensu Bean just goes down without really any fight. I, he took a couple shots. Good try, man. Is that the EM2 with a short barrel on it? It's meta. What, what is going on? There's no way people regularly use that, right? I know that people told me that the EM2 was used commonly a lot over the past couple months that I haven't been playing. No GG. All right. Okay. Am I really going to be the only one to say it? Goodbye, Verdance. What I will miss, however, is your very, very clean thumbnails, your crispiness, all of that. I appreciate it. You do look great, Verdance, from certain angles, but it's time to move on to something new, more tropical, more colorful. Caldera. I really hope I actually play the game.